everyone and welcome back to Shell's Glam Home. Well today's video guys is a DIY project I've always wanted to do. Today I'm creating a DIY French cafe window awning. I hope you enjoy. So guys, it started out with a trip to Bunnings and I picked up some of this core flute. Now this is a particular style of poster board guys it's like what they use for for sale signs and I picked this up and it's really inexpensive the thing that I loved about it the most was I could cut this myself I didn't have to annoy my dear hubby to help me with this project and I was able to do this by myself So I wanted to create a little scalloped edge at the bottom of it. So I just took a bowl and what I'm doing is I'm just tracing half the bowl across the bottom. either your favorite scissors or a craft knife what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the scalloped edge at the bottom of really sharp scissors guys but it was really easy to cut so I love the fact that I didn't have to use a jigsaw if I was cutting out MDF or timber for example and I love that I could do this by myself So once the scallops were cut out, what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to take some painter's tape and I'm going to make stripes on my window awning. Now off camera I taped everything up and I'm going to paint it this gorgeous baby blue. So what you can see here is I'm painting it every second stripe the beautiful baby blue. So the wider sections are going to be the baby blue and the thinner sections are going to be remaining white. wet to touch I remove the tape now once it was dry I flipped it over and what I did is I added some double-sided tape and a piece of this timber that I had lying around now what I did is I put this in place guys to give the awning more stability now I had these two small timber brackets that I put up and what I did underneath the awning I've actually added some screws so it just rests on the brackets. Now I ended up cutting it a little bit shorter the awning and with the leftovers I made a corner bracket to cover that up. Now at the bottom I wanted to add a shelf. And I forgot I had this one guys but I was so excited because this one's from Ikea and it has the same finish as my barn door. So I love that it has the same look in the same room. Now guys, I also had this MDF chandelier that I've had forever in my craft stash. So I took it outside and gave it two coats of black spray paint. 
Using some double-sided tape, I placed the chandelier in the centre of the awning. And now it was time to decorate the shelf. I hung my kitchen sign and I also bring in these gorgeous black and white check plates. Also added my ice cream sundae jars and these little decorative DIY cream toppers. Now on the opposite shelf I'm going to add my bakery sign as well as my black and white check plates across the top. Now on my table, I'm going to add some more of those black and white plates. I'm then going to add this baby blue cake stand, as well as these fake muffins, which are from Amazon. Now to the center of the cake stand, I added this gorgeous little French dog that I picked up last year from Early Settler Furniture. And to the table, I added my little DIY bow napkins. absolutely love how my little DIY awning came. I've wanted to do one of these forever and I did my research and wanted to find a really inexpensive way that anyone could have a go at doing this. This was such an easy DIY guys and not only could you do it in your own kitchen but you could definitely do it as some sort of party prop and I really love the idea of possibly doing one over my window which I'll share in a future video. So much for watching guys i really hope you've enjoyed the video i hope i've inspired you to do your very own diy window awning 
don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel because I'll be back on Friday morning, guys, at 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time for more videos here at Shills Glam Home.